Okay, hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Harry and I am the Harry of Someone is in the Kitchen with Harry. So uh, welcome back if this is your second time back, we hope it is. We hope you're getting a great following out of this. Uh, if it's your first time, welcome. Uh, a little bit of housekeeping rules first. Okay, we'd like to thank WYTV7, uh, Christian Broadcasters Network out of North Carolina. They are our proud sponsors that are bringing you this lovely show. And so we want to make sure and give a shout out to them and to Miss Libby. So everybody, and let me let me hear you. Shout out to Miss Libby. Hey! One Yay! more. Yay! Okay, gotcha. Good, 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 good. So uh, moving right into today's segment, if you were with us uh, last week, um, you heard why we put this together. Basically, it's an opportunity for me to serve you show you different ways, different things, easy recipes for busy people, male or female, doesn't matter, single or married, uh, learning how to cook, been cooking for years. I promise you I can show you a little twist on things that's gonna make your life easier, okay? Uh, so as we progress through this program, uh, we're gonna make it really, really fun for you. We're gonna have the ability for you to send in recipes. Uh, you can be that someone in the kitchen with Harry, uh, maybe not physically, but who knows, maybe we can, maybe we can fly you somewhere, maybe you can fly me somewhere, and we can meet up and we can do our show. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun in the show. We want audience participation, very important to us as we build this program, uh, keeping in mind that we are here to serve you and to make your life easier. So today's uh, Someone in the Kitchen with Harry is, can I get a drum roll? Mr. Reed Groves from Raleigh, North Carolina. It's, you don't just say Charlotte. That's what it's Charlotte. Okay. Charlotte. Okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll remember is, Charlotte. Is that, is that in Kentucky? Are you in oh, oh, never, never mind. Oh, never my mind. gosh. <laughs> never mind. When Sorry. you're in the kitchen with Harry, you never know what's going to happen. So you just got to kind of roll with it. Just be ready. Yeah, yeah, ready. So Marie's going to join us today as one of our tasters. Uh, she was with us on our first program. Uh, we do like to tell truth here, folks. Okay, we are Christian radio station followers. A um, couple of things of truth here. Uh, she is responsible for help putting this together because we've been friends for three and a half years, Long and time. we finally seems like an eternity. God help me, pray for me. Uh, we finally had the opportunity. Do we call that opportunity? Hey. The first, we finally had the challenge. The challenge, the challenge, yes. I like that. The challenge of meeting each other at uh, one o'clock in the morning, Vegas Today? time. Today? Today, yep. uh, straight 24 hours uh, to get here. And after three, three and a half years of talking on the phone, uh, many times I told her she wasn't my friend anymore. I don't want to talk to you. Like, because we you. operate in truth here. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so it's just sad and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. And so, let's, not, let's not forget the many times that you picked up the phone and, and I was living my life and he would tell me about what he was cooking. Why I'm here? Oh my gosh. Right. And I would be in North Carolina drooling and going, this ain't right. <laughs> this ain't right. And he would mess with me no. like that. No. And so you know what? I challenged them. I put my little butt on a plane and flew to Vegas and said, show me. Show me and let me see if you're telling the truth. So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, honest, honestly, she said, I wasn't right. Oh, she yeah. didn't say it was just, I wasn't right. He's not. Now, of course, I have a lovely wife that would strongly disagree with that statement. We, we agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> yeah. Strongly disagree. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm outnumbered here, folks. It is two against one here. Uh, but anyway, uh, we are cooking, uh, we started off the show with uh, a lot of this in the very beginning is gonna be uh, family recipes, things that I have learned to cook over the years and uh, perfect, if you will, for my own style and liking uh, and adjusting to the liking of other people. There was a time that I cooked really, really spicy. For those of you that like spice, uh, Thai food, you know, they give you one to 10, you know, stuff like that in, in terms of how hot it is. Um, I, had to, I had to adjust that because while I thought it was just fantastic, my my family or my friends, whoever I was cooking for, were just like, "Here, yeah, it's good, but I can't, I can't handle more. It's just too hard, hot for me." So I had to tone it down. 
And in, in serving humanity, you will learn. We, we always try and have a little message in here for you, too. We don't want to get, like, too churchy, too religious with you. Uh, we know life happens. Uh, the struggle's for real at times. But we know that our beliefs and our faith is for real. And we also believe that um, having fun is for real. Sometimes I see an image of, uh, of the Lord uh, laughing when a lot of times we think of him as being so, so, so solemn, you know, so solemn and just writing, you know, and oh Lord, we just got to bow down before you. I, I see uh, our Lord is having a lot of fun. So we're, we're here to have fun. Okay, so uh, the, 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 he does have fun. She tells me I'm a, a mess, and I tell her, you know what? I'm a hot mess, and don't you forget it, girl. Okay, I'm God's favorite hot mess. He loves me just the way I am. <laughs> Remember, I'm creating the image of Him. But see, we're in a competition because I think I'm God's favorite hot mess. So no, 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 know, no, 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 no. Oh, well, can't, maybe cut it right here. I, cut, I'll, cut. I'll, I'll tell you this: that I think I'm God's refrigerator. Harry's on one side, and I must be on the other. Okay, compromise. Go. We like there that. Okay, go. all right, compromise. Okay, so <laughs> we chose uh, the infamous uh, uh, ground beef tacos with the potatoes. Uh, show of hands, how many people have tried it? I did. It was okay, amazing. we got two. I'm looking exactly. at the audience. Have we, yep. Did we yep. try it yet? Uh, Not yet. Oh, okay. Out here. Okay. That watch was, watch was, the segment. Yeah, watch the segment show. again. And I'm telling you. It, that was stupendous. You've not lived until you had Harry's world famous ground beef tacos. Okay. So now today's world famous. You have not lived until you had Harry's spaghetti. Let me tell you about spaghetti, folks. Bar none, this will be the absolute best spaghetti you have made in your entire life. Entire life. Now, I don't want to offend our Italian friends out there. If you have Mama Mia out there that's out picking the stuff fresh out of the field, man, and cooking this stuff for like a week, no competition. They're number one. Okay? Our life over here in America are a little bit different. Uh, I mentioned before we live in a really brisk pace in life, and uh, we like things quick, fast, easy, and delicious. And we're going to do that for you today. So uh, the spaghetti. In my family, spaghetti sauce, we all had our own signature dishes. My sister and her chili beans, uh, my brother and his cowby ribs, uh, my other brother. He's just pretty good all the way around. Uh, I can't think of nothing but fried bologna right now, though. So maybe, I don't know. But he was good. He, 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 I got some of his recipes for us. So we're good. We need to hang out with his family. Right. And then my, then, my, then my other sister, uh, a little bit more of a, uh, a Latin flair to it. Uh, still not as good as her bigger brothers. Oh, Ooh, here we go. I'm in trouble when she says yes. this. Anyway, uh, so I perfected spaghetti sauce. Now, let me tell you about this sauce. If you can get this down, literally over the years, this is a 50-year recipe. That's right. But how is that when you're like 25 years old? You know, we're supposed to speak, speak truth here, Marie. I'm actually 21. No. My bad. Yeah, right. I, I, I actually, I, I'm dating myself. I may act like I'm 13, but I'm quite a bit older. <laughs> My wife will attest to that. She's over smiling right now. I'm uh -huh, shaking her hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, this spaghetti sauce, uh, if you can find it, if not, go to the website, blow up their website, because I've tried all the other brands. Uh, let me just take a step back. I'm not a professional cook. I am not a chef. I'm a cook from the heart. And I have years of experience. Uh, as I told you before, I started out at prepping at 67 years old, as my mother would call from her job and say, Harry, pull this out, warm this up, cook that up, mix this up, you know, put it all together. And when I come home, I'll finish it off and then we'll eat dinner for, uh, dinner for everybody. That's been my, cur my cooking career. And of course, over the years, I've perfected it uh, to my own style. Uh, I've tried uh, many, many different uh, sauces. And here, here's the thing I, I really disliked about. Like chefs are fantastic, uh, but I got to ask the question: Do you have time to be a chef? Anybody uh, have time to be a chef? I don't. Okay, 
I'm I'm a, I'm a little busy. Just a little. Uh, cooks. Uh, do we really have? We're not. Cooks too the same kind of the same thing. So here here's my point. What I hated about following recipes is you had to go to the store, and you had to spend. $30, because how many know that spices are expensive? Oh, Show of hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see all the hands out there, right? Right, yeah. Uh, 30 bucks for spices that you'll probably use only one time. And uh, I, I didn't like that. So the things that we will show you on this show, uh, spices that you should have in your cupboard as a standard go-to. Garlic powder, garlic salt, onion powder, onion salt, seasonal salt, salt, pepper, uh, Himalayan, you know, rock salt, if you like that, accent. It, whatever very common and basic spices that everybody should have in their pantry already okay so along with that that i've always said the secret is in the sauce as this turn this off now the secret is in the sauce and in the spices now what i said earlier about the italian or italian fans out there bar none i'm gonna tell you your your mom your grandmother your aunt whoever they got the best spaghetti sauce in the entire world. I'm looking for the best spaghetti sauce that I can come up with right here. Okay. I'm in for that. And that comes in a little package like this. You know, close up of it here. Okay. If you can find the Lowry seasoning for your spaghetti sauce, I am telling you, it is a home run. Home run. Because I have cooked this spaghetti sauce with Lowry's ingredients for like it said over 50 years and I I got a hundred different variations. Guys, if you get the spaghetti sauce down and you can handle it, you can have spaghetti once, twice a week for the rest of your life. And and take this sauce. Another thing we'll show you in the program is how to take your leftovers. Don't throw them out guys. Something about the food sitting overnight, especially a sauce, a spaghetti mm -hmm. sauce, put it in the refrigerator and warm it up the next day. Always better than something else. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is, guys. I'm not that smart to figure that out, okay? But it, it, there's just something about it. So we'll teach you things like if you take the spaghetti sauce the next day, fry up a couple of eggs, pour some spaghetti sauce over it, have some toast, have some tortillas. Me personally, I put a little spice on it, chili, Tabasco, whatever. I've never done that. You just got a Latin breakfast right there. Oh my gosh, I gotta right? try that. Boom. Just like downtown, okay? So the Lowry spaghetti sauce. So I we went ahead and we have everything prepared. I'll move that out of the way. Because we have limited time, we don't want to bore you guys. We're trying to let you know that everything is like kind of. He's been over here working. Yeah, I, I was saying on the segment before I have two beautiful ladies. I'm in Las Vegas. I'm in the kitchen cooking. I mean, it can't it, get any better. Than it, yeah. This. Oh, I'm enjoying the heck out of it, right? And I am too. <laughs> just to let you know. See, I, I, I'm a foodie at heart. Yeah. And uh, love to try uh, all kinds of different foods, and uh, mm -hmm. I just enjoy food. It's like you know what food is to me. What? Yeah. It's like having a party in your mouth. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. And I'm going to put that hand behind my back. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna, it's, yeah. Your taste buds have a party. Yes. Yes. Okay. And, uh, and Harry, I, I'm, I'm learning that uh, it's cooking. I, I, I haven't been disappointed yet. And I'm, he has told me about the spaghetti for some time. And I'm pretty stoked about trying it. <laughs> Easy peasy to make, guys. Okay. I, I made this. You, you, here, here's a dirty little secret about cooking. If you go buy something in the package like this, any package, the amazing thing is you turn it over and guess what it says? Mix all ingredients in a medium saucer pan. But we're going to show you. That's, that's how I started. I, I, I would read the back of the packages. See, sometimes over here in, in, in America, we don't have time. We just take it, we dump it in and look at where we at. Then it says uh, here, bring to boil, reduce heat, and simmer 20 minutes stirring occasionally. Wow! Aha moments. Uh, 
Those of you that don't know how to cook and want to look like a superstar, read the instructions and I'll let you know what to do. So uh, today I have perfected it this way. So you, you take some ground beef, some onions, and some garlic, real heavy on garlic over here, okay? I'm always gonna have garlic and onions in just about everything I cook. Uh, haven't tried it in cereal yet, but you know, anyway. Uh, I think it's time for me to go back to North Carolina. Right, right, it. yeah. So uh, you brown the ground beef with the onions and with the garlic. You, uh, after that, you drain the fat, of course. We don't want a bunch of fat in there, right? Okay, and uh, uh, boil, boil the water for noodles. You see, I got the noodles right here. We already cooked the spaghetti noodles. Little secret about making spaghetti noodles. How many people know that when you cook the spaghetti noodles and then you dump it, it's, it's so starchy that it actually sticks together, right? Mm -hmm. Look at what's happening here, folks. It just falls apart. You know why? Take a little bit of olive oil. Pour it in the water as it's boiling. When you take the spaghetti out, put it in the colander and run the water over to cool it off. There you go. No starch. No sticking together. No sticking together. Yeah, huh? Little secret there, guys. We're gonna give you a lot of a lot of freebies, a lot of free secrets on here, guys. So we want we want you to be happy. And if you got secrets, please share with us. Okay. Now we don't want your in the closet secret, okay? That's <laughs> TMI. That's not that's no, not what the show's about, gonna, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Food only, please. Okay. All right. So that's that's a little secret about cooking that. So you get the spaghetti noodles going, you boil the water. Always put a little salt in it and then and then uh, cover it up because it'll boil faster, the water will boil faster. And then take your run-of-the-mill noodles that you like, spaghetti noodles, any type, and dump it in there five or 10 minutes, it's done. Now, all of this is going on at once, see, because we, we aim to, to keep our, our cook times and prep times down to 40 minutes and below, okay? So uh, you get that going, you've browned the ground beef, right, and uh, onions and the uh, garlic in there. Then you take the package, contents here, I thought, read the back, read the back of the package, okay? Yeah. read the back. Dump it in there. Now, here is what I do. I'll spice up my ground beef with my little bit of accent salt, maybe some seasonal salt, and some pepper, right? Then once I pour the Lowry's into here, I have a secret rub. Mm. I'll be willing to share it with you in the very near future. I'll, so whatever you like to spice up, put that in with your package. After you've dumped it into the pan, just the sauce itself, put in your salt, put in your pepper, put, put in whatever you like. I have my little secret rub, right? And I, I throw it in it there. It smells delicious. See? Tomato sauce, right? Put that in there. Take a whisk and some water. Uh, by the way, I always use bottled water. If I got to consume a sauce or something like that, I'm tap water here. Really? I don't, I don't like to drink tap water. But, you know, use, the water will make a difference is what I'm telling you. The water will make all the difference in the world in the consistency, how it tastes, how it comes out. Always try and use bottled water when you're cooking, okay? Uh, mix it all together. Take it. Uh, Bring it to boil, package, put some butter or some olive oil in there, bring it to boil, add your, uh, I put some petite diced tomatoes in this, in this one this time, you can do some stewed tomatoes, you can do whole tomatoes, uh, I got some mushrooms, I don't have any more mushrooms in, but I got some canned mushrooms that I put in here, okay, and, and so you can, you can dress it up anyway. Some people put carrots. I've seen where people have uh, cut up, shredded, like, you know, on a grater, carrots, and put carrots in there. Uh, you can put um, uh, bell peppers in here, red bell peppers, green bell peppers. Uh, the meat, you know, you can add sausage to it. You're, there, I'm telling you guys, there are, there's a hundred variations of this spaghetti sauce that'll make you look like a hero every time you cook it, bar none. And if you need some help, we're going to set up an email account. You just email me and I'll say, you know what? I, I get on the phone if I have to and I'll walk you through it, okay? Because I want you to be a hero. This is all about serving you and helping you. So once that is all done, there's two ways to cook it. Again, the package says 20 minutes and I'm done. 
I go for about 30, 45 minutes. If you really, really want to do like a grand slam, like out of the park, bases loaded, ninth inning, full count, last pitch, and you want to knock it out, put all of this in a slow cooker, add some, what did I add? Rosemary olive oil. There's a special company here in town, which uh, I'll be more than happy to share with you. They have various. I bet you they ship that. Too. And some lavender balsamic vinaigrette. Put it in a slow cooker, folks, and do it for about three to four hours. I am telling you, if, if they don't love you now, they'll love you forever after that. Amazing in a slow cooker. Uh, I cook a lot in a slow cooker, electric skillet. Uh, pressure cooker. Uh, uh, what's uh, what's that? Yeah. Air fryer. Yes, the air fryer. Amazing. So many ways, uh, so many tools that we have nowadays. I mean, the kitchen and, and all designed to make your life quick. I mean, easy when it comes to preparation. Uh, today's world, uh, moms and dads are working full time. Uh, sometimes two jobs. Uh, single people are working two, three jobs, going to school. You know. Trying to make it happen. I mean, you can only have so much ramen noodles and mac and cheese. Uh, it's true. Uh, I will show you how to make sandwiches that it, you can take on the corner and sell. You need some extra money? Mm -hmm. Make these sandwiches go on the corner and sell, okay? <laughs> you can it, tell he lives in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're always looking for an angle in Vegas, you know? Uh, We're going to get your money one way or the other, right? Uh, side dishes. Uh, so olive oil, rubber that. Uh, Okay, got those things covered. Uh, mushrooms. Uh, okay, side dishes before we get into the taste test. We're almost done here, folks. I I'm waiting uh, for the taste test. French style green beans, if you like French cut beans, regular green beans. Pour them, in. Pour them in the pot. 10 minutes. Maybe a little garlic salt, garlic powder. I'll tell you a neat little thing to do with French style cut beans. If, if you can handle it and you're, you're not allergic to it, put some almonds in it. Ooh. Almonds and no. French cut beans. Oh my God. I got a recipe for a uh, French bean casserole with almonds in it. You've not lived until you've had Harry's French bean casserole. I think I'm staying in some more days. Yeah. yeah. He's out of here as soon as I get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating all his food. Just uh, to let you know. Uh, corn. Real easy, folks. Ladies, how many cans of corn can you buy at the store? You know, corn and spaghetti. Uh, French cut beans, spaghetti, uh, regular green beans. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, oh, a salad. Mm. Make a salad. I, I got this fantastic uh, mayonnaise salad recipe, which we'll, we'll share with you. Again, one of those signature family things. Uh, not lived until you tried the salad, okay? You I'm never put, going home. You just want you to know. Oh. Yeah. I think He's the so excited. Yeah, can you tell? Can tell yeah. He's so excited. Uh, we got to get this over so I can get her out of here. <laughs> um, put this on your salad. You know, uh, the balsamic vinaigrettes. And the, we have a variety of those that we'll be sharing with you. It's a mixture. And they will deliver. You'll be able to order online if that's what that you're choosing is. Um, here's one that you might think is a little bit weird. But I'm telling you, folks, it goes over well with the kids. Give yourself some spaghetti. Put some sauce on it. Maybe put you some corn or green beans on the side. Get out the good old applesauce. Applesauce and spaghetti is good. I tell you right now, it, it'll work, especially for the kids. Another home run, okay? So those are some of the variations that you can do and add little side dishes. Now, come to the moment of truth. This is my moment. Now see. This is my moment. I got to tell you right now, I know what truth is. Yeah, we're going we're, we're gonna to see. And, and I know that all of this right here, created by all of this right here, watch how she reacts. I think that's all I got to say. Just watch her. Oh, okay. by the way, we have another participant, too, for our taste test. Yes, we do. We have a little peanut gallery in the background, so now it's time to step up. Uh-huh. Okay. So. Come on down, Mama. Here, it's time. Let me, let me okay. just, I don't know, it's going to be hard for me to tilt this down because I don't want to spill it. Okay, careful there, Marie. It's, I, I'll go as soon as, there, there, let me see if I can. there you go. There's the sauce there. 
uh, ground that beef, dog looks amazing. Uh, onions, mushrooms, diced tomatoes. That's crazy. The seasoning, the olive oil, the whole That's nine. Crazy. Okay. So and look this, at his beautiful wife. Hi. Oh. Hello. Hello. She's amazing. Hello. Behind every good man is an even greater woman, <laughs> and this is her right here. Just okay. Want you to know. So I'm forced to share this story. <laughs> Oh. This is important to share the story. The last story, the same story as the last time. I was in Phoenix last week for a business conference, right? And this, this is my domain. Things happen here, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I shared spiritually how some powerful things are happening in this kitchen. Okay, right? Uh, I have to go out of town for a business meeting, and like a good man, I call a check in. Right? You know what she tells me. I haven't eaten since you've been gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? And you you had to have eaten something. You didn't leave any food. Yeah. I mean, I, come on. Cook. 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 Oh, see? Cook. Yeah, man. Am I lying? I told you, we speak truth here. There's truth in it, right? So I happened to ask her, I said, well, what? You had to eat something. What have you eaten since you've been gone? Skittles and chips and Pepsi. Oh, my God, girl. I'll be home tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll teach him to go away. Shoot. So this yeah. is the moment of truth, guys. This is the put up or shut up time. Uh-huh. I, I, I can put up. All right. I'm about to show these ladies. We're going to see. Okay. Now, I know I'm outnumbered, but this is where the rubber meets the road, baby. This this is where the magic happens right here. Okay. You see this? I got uh, my fork. Okay. I'm ready. Do we, need, do, we need to, do we need to put the napkin and on if, like a bib? And if you want to make a bet, because we're in Vegas, let me tell you, go to WW. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got my, see, I got my bib on. I'm okay. ready. We are going to put ready. the sauce on the noodles here. Okay. Okay. There's one. And then, yeah, mix it all up there, Marie. Get it all mixed up. Oh, my. And in a... Can you tell by the look on my face how happy I am? In a... Hold on I'm one second, so now. happy right now. In a very rare moment, which uh, as long as I've known Marie and as long as uh, I've been married, they were both testified, I'm going to shut my mouth right now. Oh, my gosh. This is a moment. And y'all, yeah, record this. Libby, I hope this is recorded because this yes, is a moment. This is a moment. I'm going to shut my mouth now and I'm just going to watch. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'll have to say not bad. Oh, not oh. bad? I'm just really crazy good. I'm crazy. looking for something a little bit better, not bad, girl. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Mm. But the sauce is, um, okay, I'm trying to think of words to describe it for our viewers and for our listeners. It's almost like you've got a little bit of thickness to the sauce. Yes. Um, is that, would that be the, the olive oil that you use? I think that? it's all the ingredients combined. Some people like it a little thick, some like it more watery, I guess. Um, I like it a little thick because I like it to taste the sauce. Mm. I want you to taste the sauce. I just don't want you to taste the water or, you know, the meat in there because there's, remember, there's this some is, secret spices in there. This is truly, you like my bib? This is truly a party in your mouth. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay. Y'all should be here. So that's that's one critic there. We do, I can think, I can pretty much say we nailed it, okay? Mm -hmm. Next. It's Oh no, delicious. Okay. <laughs> oh no, delicious in the native Hawaiian languages. Yes. Brah. That sauce on the one. That's okay. right. That's right. That's oh my one. gosh. Now, garlic bread, really easy to make. If you want to get some bread, get stuff a little flat grill like this. And instead of buying the bread, uh, like the fancy stuff you don't want, take your regular bread like this here, butter it on both sides. Put it on the grill, cook one side, flip it over, cook on the other. Instant garlic bread for your spaghetti, folks. Now that's a way to save some money. Done. Done. Absolutely. Just like that. Awesome. Awesome. So have I have I let you down, girl? No, it was worth it was worth flying all the way from North Carolina to Vegas. There you go. To Thank have you. Harry's famous, you've not lived until you've eaten Harry's spaghetti. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Now, I mentioned this in the other program too. Truth be told, 
She wanted to see. Yeah. She was just, to the hand, Harry. It's just a second thing. Yeah. I, I'm here for the food. I'm here for the food. Yeah. Well, she's out of here after this. When we set this down, <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> I'm going to eat it first, though. I'm eat it first. So uh, that's our program today. A couple more housekeeping. First of all, I want to mention a happy birthday to my mother. Um, I'm here filming in Las Vegas as my family is gathering down in uh, California for her birthday, but I, I'm here just uh, because of filming this and serving you guys. So happy birthday to my mom, who's going to be 21 years young. Yay! Yay! Okay. Uh, a big shout out to my family. Well, first of all, without my mom, all this would not be possible. So thank you, mom, for teaching me how to prep at such a young age and it, uh, manifesting into something glorious. Um, Shout out to my brother down in Huntington Beach uh, doing his thing. Shout out to my sister Debbie and her awesome two names. Uh -huh. Shout out to my sister Landa. She knows she's my favorite girl. To her sons. To my whole family. Uh, I just like to say uh, um, I couldn't be in a better family. I'm proud to be a part of your family. Proud of the things you've shown me and taught me and the support you've given me. And the last thing we like to do is say thank you to WITV7. Christian Broadcasters Network. You guys are awesome. They're going to keep us going. Support us, guys, because this is this is for you. Support us is helping you. Help us to help you. We will do our best to make your life easier. We will serve you the way we like to do, man. And again, who knows? You can be the next. Someone's in the kitchen with Harry, and you will have not lived until you tasted Harry's awesome spaghetti. Thanks very much, guys. Bye. Talk to you soon.